So our USP is ultimately getting you functional parts very, very quickly. Ultimately, everything that we offer is on a 15 day lead time or less. So everything that when we do quote it, we are 100% confident in the quotations itself that we can deliver the parts on time. Now, regardless if it's additive, turned parts, machine parts, liquid silicon rubber or rapid injection molding, all these five services we can offer as little as a one day business turnaround. So you can literally order in the morning, parts are ready by the evening. Of course, this depends on part complexity and geometry, but uh, the, what makes us stand out from the rest is that we have built our own proprietary software. So we're not using off the shelf CAD packages and CAD CAM packages. We've got our own software that's inbuilt, that's very tuned to our automated process and the, our philosophies in terms of manufacturing parts that allows us to generate low cost savings, but you know, high complex parts at such a short lead time. And ultimately, a lot of our competitors want to get their parts on market as soon as possible. And in this day and age, time is everything. It's a need that we've heard from our customers. So over the years that we've provided injection molding and CNC machining, you know, we've been listening to our customers along the years. And we found that a lot of them you know, start from the early conceptual design stages. So what they try to do is get a 3D printed part or an additive manufactured part before they start committing into machining and molded tools. Of course, you want a lot of reassurance in the design before you start investing a lot of money down the process of development. So with additive manufacturing is where we thought we could come in and aid our customers to help them so they can trans smoothly transition from additive into machine parts. So when you've got your machine part, you can then do functional testing, et cetera, for the properties of the material, and then take it into injection molding. And that's where you can then finalize your part, get it into a mass production, and ultimately get that part out into market as soon as possible. Why fine line life? So fine line is currently a, an established ad, ad, additive manufacturing company within America. You know, that we wanted someone to uh, adopt our philosophies in terms of speed and functional parts. So rather than developing our in-own house, we thought let's, let's get a, an external source where they're already the experts in these areas and they just fine tune it and adopt it for our philosophies. And we found with Fineline that they, they meet Protolab's um, USB perfectly. So that's the main reason why we've done that. And of course, there's a lot to learn from Fineline and vice versa, they can learn a lot from us. And with the merger of the two companies, we just found that we can offer uh, the same manufacturing methods, but at a much highly competitive cost. And of course, a lot more finer detail and of course, maintaining that speed to get the part to you as soon as possible. In the European market, we're currently offering rapid injection molding tooling, liquid silicon rubber, machine parts, lathe parts, and additive manufacturing. So Protolabs predominantly started from injection molding. So that was our, our, our core function. It was all about injection molding. And then as we listened to our customers, we found actually they want to have machine parts before they go into injection molding. So we've kind of worked backwards in the sense of Let's, let's get right from the start end and actually let's fill in all the other gaps in between so we can help that smooth transition from one, one method to another to get to the final stage. So that, that was the main reason behind it. Now, with injection molding, we can, we can pretty much mold any material you desire, including your high engineering grade materials, you know, high glass content materials, high temperature materials, right down to your commodity materials, which is your polypropylene, your ABS and your PCs. With the machining side of things, of course, we, we thought we need to adopt that same philosophy. A lot of customers want to test one or two off parts, but not invest the money into tooling, just to make sure they're 100% happy with the parts itself before they commit to tooling. So again, from the machining side of things, we can now offer 30, grade, uh, 30 engineering grade resins, as well as a selection of alloys, including your stainless steel, your mild steel, your carbon steel, your coppers, your brass, etc. And then of course, just recently, we've now adopted additive manufacturing. So it's almost the very first step going from a 2D drawing to a live part in your hand. And again, we've just recently adopted that with the, the inclusion or the follow-on of additional additive manufacturing methods.